Okay, what's going on, Phyllis and Joe Colts? I'm Mega Dash, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. It's time to examine this little doobly doo here on this book. Okay, we can open it up, and there's the picture. Okay, so that opens it. Wait, hey, there's a picture here. Looks like it's of Marshall being stabbed on the, uh, on the, uh, what you call the suit of armor. So, yeah, that pretty much does it. <laughs> uh, settles that. See? Oh! Oh my! Yeah, that's a big graphic, actually. This is the actual crime scene! No other detective saw the crime scene like this. That's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. So, we weren't actually supposed to present that book, we were supposed to examine it there, and that's why it only gave that examine option uh, when, you know, it was time to sort of present that. Wait, wait, his picture inserted in the court record. Okay, so now am I supposed to present it? Maybe see? Yes, Mr. Wright! That piece cut out from his vest! Could that be? Uh, I can't see anything cut out from his vest. It's. It's all, you know, it, I mean, the game is only. I sort of blow it up a little bit for the video. Natively, it's only 192p, so it's hard to really see much of anything. Um. I guess let's see, maybe it's being blocked by the tax book. I assume it's talking about the uh, the knife, uh, you know, fragment or whatever, which was actually, you know, it was actually from Dark's knife, but the stab wound didn't match them. See, or, or no, okay, so the co the coffee found side chief can't save. Okay, so it's about oh, is that it right there? I guess that's where he got stabbed. I don't know. It had Emma's fingerprints on it. It wasn't a fingerprint wiper. It was, um, it was part of his vest. And, uh, excuse me. So, uh, and, you know, it so basically proves that she pushed him into it. See, what's this? Hmm. It's a handprint. Or wait, aren't we operating under the assumption now that it actually wasn't Emma or something? I, I, I get confused. It's been a day or two since I... Uh, two, since I reported the last part, see? That cloth! It had fingerprints on it, see? Whosever fingerprints those are, must be the real murderer! I uh, yeah, brother, yes, 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 that is, that is definitely the case, yes. <laughs> see? What? But those fingerprints, see? They're yours, Emma, see? Why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Oh, she actually didn't read my mind there. Anyway. Let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, it should be able to flush out the real murder. Whoa, whoa, well, the investment now begins cross-examination. I thought I, I thought I just was doing a cross-examination. Or, okay, no, I, I wasn't there. Now there's, that was confusing. There's a whole big portion after this testimony before we cross-examine. Okay, that's weird. See, actual crime scene. Wait. Right. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's but uh, what? Well, oops. Uh, someone's already holding it before it even- Uh, Gant, what are you doing? Uh, I thought you left, so come now, uh, Jesus. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. Chief Gant! What now, you wanna make me out as the bad guy too? Um, yes. Yes, I do. If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. Andrew is going, I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. That's not how it works. I guess in the game that's how it works, but in the real world that's not how it works. You can, you have the right to remain silent and let, but you can forfeit that right at any point, but that doesn't mean you then have to remain silent, if, you know, in the future, or, you know, yeah, you, invoking your right to remain silent doesn't mean that you, you know, that you then, uh, you know, can't make statements later, you know. It, it's the opposite way around of what they're trying to do here. Dot, dot, dot. This must be the risk the judge is talking about. That's totally bullshit. Just sit back, relax. And enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your neck. 
What, what is he doing there? I, I can't remember him. Ah, uh, so what? You think I'm... It, it almost looks like he's exploding. <laughs> See, exclamation point. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. Uh, then why did you come here? Say, what do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me, or perhaps it will do the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. You can? Okay. Yes, that's true! Wait! You mean... You still have some conclusive evidence! And he kept it back and said, No, I don't, but someone does. Referring to me, see. Someone! So then, what's your excuse, Rido? Oh... He's talking about... The cloth. Okay, exclamation point, see. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? Oh, okay, so, yeah, he knows because I broke into his office and he found me with it. I suppose... Um... Yeah, I can't really, you know, weasel my way around this right now. You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Uh, is this true, Mr. Wright? Yeah, it kind of is. Am I going to have the option to lie about it? Let's see. If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's done for. Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. That's right, if you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. <laughs> Why did it take so long to say Board of Inquiries? What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed who really killed Prosecutor Marshall. Okay. Let me take a state, I think. This is gonna be something I have to think about. Let's look through the court record. So uh see, if only I could remember and hadn't taken a full day between the testimony and now, if only I had something I could do in the next test Let's see. Prosecutor trophy. Address and I, parking sub, and then, let's see. Anything else that could possibly contradict it? Oh, see, I do have switchblade knives. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. He said, if I, if I try to conceal it, I'm going to be appearing before an inquiry committee, so I think I can't. I'm gonna have to show the evidence. Yes, Your Honor. I do have further evidence. Alright, the time has finally come to show it to them. Those prints have got to be the Chiefs. They're not, let's see. Now then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. I have to. Hey, or. Hmm. I I have to. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the strip of. I'm gonna take a nose. Well, I just hit the state. There's no really real reason to. That's. A piece of leather clothing! Yes, it most likely was cut from the victim's vest. Near his chest. What's this? There's a big handprint on it! Surely it must have been left on the cloth by whoever shoved the victim on into the sword. Unless somehow it was forged. But they kinda need Emma's consent for that. You know, if it's her hand say, What? Whose fingerprints are on this? I'm sure Ryo has checked, haven't you? I have. Oh, excuse me. It's amazing point. Well, who's are they? They're Miss Skies. Miss Emma Skies. Let me guess, she's going to faint again. Let's see. What? They're mine? So I really did do it. Yeah. See, I told you it was conclusive, and I'm going to object now. But this was found in your safe. See, that means it's possible you forged it. I don't know what you're talking about. Exclamation point. I don't remember any cloth in my safe. So he's just straight up denying it now. Do you really expect me to believe that? I expect you to believe it. Not sure about the rest of the court, but you have to believe it. But, Anderson, give it up, Mr. Wright. It's over. Uh, not yet. 
Exclamation point. You shouldn't have presented that. By presenting that evidence, you tie the MS guy to Neil Marshall's death. No. It appears we have our killer! No! 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 Everything hinged on that point. In the end, the lady was found guilty. Guilty, so that's like a game over. Okay, I'm back at the main menu. Okay, I guess we have to reload that state and not present it. Okay, um, right, let's say it cannot show evidence in that case. Um, say, so Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Perhaps maybe I was supposed to present somebody else as well. Right. What? You lie! She's gone! See, you, you opened my safe! I know you took what was inside! See, the conclusive evidence! I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm going to play his own game. See, it's right! Why don't you show them? See, we found it together! Just, see. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? There's anything odd about the chest area. So, I think this is going to be the wrong. I think I was supposed to present the evidence and present something else. It looks like Paul has been cut off for some reason. You mean, you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the Chief of Police! Concealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. But of course, now I'm also concealing. Dot dot dot. Impressive. But you are not a Jedi yet. See? Oh, I should totally do that. I should to I should totally try to do my best awful Darth Vader impression for this see. To be honest, I don't think you had the go. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't really fit with his tone of speech. Exclamation point. Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. See, I'll tell you what really happened. I'm gonna say, what you mean? You admit to it? See, is he going to give some kind of testimony now, or what? Uh, like that's not allowed for some reason. See. I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go with the Darth Vader thing, see? And then it occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lena. So you really were manipulating her? I knew Lena. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, see, that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So you did arrive there first. So you assisted Miss Skye. So, he, yeah, he is admitting to it now. How did he forge, forge the evidence, though? <laughs> I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. <laughs> and I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Doc convicted for a crime he didn't commit. See, when we rearranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. The jar and the strip. I did this before they arrived at the scene, so she didn't see that part. Okay, so two pieces of evidence. You mean those items in your safe? See? But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. He kind of had a shitty password, though, didn't he? It was just his ID number. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. So... Let me see. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for, a fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. So yeah, he's pretty much the villain of everything. See this jar fragment? I hit the most legible part of Emma's name. So without that, it... You can't see it, you can't really tell, and he just wiped the rest. See, I didn't expect him to go and wipe. 
The blood off all, all the pieces! Edgeworth is going to say, but if you fabricated all the evidence, who's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jaw too? You have a point, Edgeworth. Ho, ho, ho. See, some people just don't know when to quit, do they? I guess it would see. Hmm, could we possibly check it for fingerprints to see if he was the one who wrote it? He could have just used, uh, Marshall's finger, though, see. That's why I kept one more item for insurance, the claw, see. You mean, that piece of cloth? The one that I didn't actually present? See. Come on, Ryo, cough it up already! I know you have it! Am I gonna have to make another decision? See. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? See. So you admit to it, then, Chief Gansy. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Ah, uh, Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, Victory is mine. Okay, show evidence or cannot show evidence. Alright, I'm gonna take another state. And... Huh, what- is there any other evidence I can present in lieu? I don't know. Possibly- I'm thinking either the photo or the switchblade knife itself. Huh. Fingerprinting set, perhaps? I don't know. So, so it seems like this was the proper route. Or let's see. Huh. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and say I, I, I'm going to show the evidence to see what the judge asks. 